Hello and welcome to uh, the first episode of Stray. Uh, this is going to be a multiple video series where we'll cover about an hour or so of gameplay and yeah, we'll uh, go through a bit of a walkthrough. Uh, this game came out approximately a day ago. I've had a few issues uh, with recording. Uh, first time, I don't think I hit record or there were some settings that weren't quite right and it didn't work and then um, I re-recorded it in the evening and then again we had the same sort of issue with the audio because um, it had a VR headset hooked up I think the audio was going through that but it wasn't actually connected and anyway so here we are in Australia um, I'm doing this as a bit of a voiceover at the moment but uh, you start off and you're with a group of cats and yeah you're gonna get to play with your mates. Um, I've been playing this game on PC. Uh, I believe it's available on PlayStation 4 and 5. Uh, not out on Xbox yet, but whether it does, uh, it's another story. Um, and it might be out on other platforms as well, but I'm not really too sure to be honest. Uh, looks like I'm in a bit of a fight. So we're going to go take a nap on this so soggy cardboard box. Um, I don't usually do these videos like, with the audio after, so um, I apologise if it's not um, great. But uh, with the next few videos coming out, I'll try and get everything organised and it will be a bit better finished. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, we're having a bit of a snooze. We're probably gonna wake up. Yep. Okay, um what I'd originally planned when I was playing the game and thought the audio was working was to see um of the viewers watching who has a cat, like as a pet, or if you uh I'm more of a dog person, or if you don't really like animals, and this is sort of like a, just an out-of-the-box game for you. Um, I also thought that it might be cool to name the cat, um, so if you dropped uh, name recommendations in the comments, we could go through and um, pick whichever one has the most um, likes or comments for the same name. Um, so, yeah, I thought that might be good. So this is inside the wall, um, so looks like the cats are in a bit of a convoy heading down this pipe. Um, this first part of the game is really uh, getting you used to the controls, um, so it gives you a bit of a run through of like how to climb and jump and meow and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so we oh there we go. Learning to meow. Left alt. So I I don't think for me I've ever played a game like this. Um the closest thing would have been probably Goat Simulator with my kids. Um which is quite funny. You can do all sorts of things in that. But for an actual full story, um where you're sort of going around and trying to work out what's going on and where what's happened and stuff like I think this is going to be really cool uh, as you can see there's greenery so there is sort of life I guess things are growing and stuff but I haven't got far enough to work out what's actually going on can I jump up here and walk across go over a few more pipes Heading down. Yeah, 
yes, it looks like I took a, a weird um, path then, jumping up and down and all sorts, but anyway. Looks like the cats are having fun exploring together. Now, th this part's really cool. I um, the way they've captured the video through this tunnel is really a cool aspect. I think I sort of paused here because <laughs> I was taking the first time I went through there. Um, yeah, now we learn how to observe with the right mouse button, and we'll jump and go across these eye beams. Alright, everyone's jumping across. Looks like this is me. So we need to work out a name for this cat. Oh, and there we go. Just my luck. And how's this look? Check out these cats. Like, clearly I need help. Nope, you're on your own, sucker. No! <laughs> Alright, so. This is inside the wall. And that is on the bottom of the ground. Or well, on the ground. Uh, let's see, so I think we've taken a bit of damage. Cat's gonna struggle. Poor kitty. I've done well with the movements, like just how the cat acts, I guess. Um, I myself do have a, a cat. We've got a, a poppy cat. Um, yeah, we, we um, also had a dog, but unfortunately he passed away earlier this year. Um, so we're down with the cat. Uh, the cat is, let's see, how old is the cat? The cat is 14 years old, I believe. 13, 14 years. Yeah, so she, she's getting up there in age, but she's still a very energetic cat. Now, I'm getting up. I would not drink that. That does not look healthy. Alright, so we've got a bit more movement. It's good to see the cat up and moving again. We are off on an adventure. Alright, so those little things went under here, so we'll go through there. And look at that, we are in the dead city. Some funky font. Now th these things, they remind me of giant potatoes that run. So I'll probably just refer to them as potatoes. Um, so now we're climbing. Uh, yeah, there's a lot for climbing in this game, and you realise how good a jumper's cats are. Over the really bad looking water, probably poisonous. Now, yeah, if you look around, I worked this out. I didn't really notice the first time that said help, but there's lots of arrows that give you hints of where to go. Um, and they're normally lit up, so it makes it... There you go, there's a sign saying, follow me. So someone is trying to help us. Um, yeah, so there's a few little hints, but yeah, like, it's really good. We've had a couple of things where you have to think about how you're going to get through areas and stuff. So previously I'd already done this, so sort of got to grab the bucket and then go down there I you can drop the bucket but I like to go up and live life dangerously and hopefully not get decapitated or decapitated excuse the pun 
Right. Typical cat knocking things off. I think if I was to name this um, cat, it'd probably be something like Ginger or Garfield or something. So hopefully you guys in the comments can come up with a better name than I can. Um, yeah. Now follow me, we gotta get through that glass. So looks like we gotta go up. And up. And up. And Q to knock things off. And yep, just break that. It's sort of weird that that paint can had a big paint splatter around where it was, but it was sat like perfectly upright. I'll jump down here. Follow me. Yeah, and you can um, do little action. So I thought I was gonna cough up a furball then, but no, nope, we're just clawing out the rug. And you can stop that using the Q button. Um, yeah, m most actions are either E um, when you get into chat and stuff um, for execute I guess um, and yeah Q's back and you've got your normal WD SMA for walking uh, shift is sprint uh, later you'll see what alt does uh, the left alt button and spacebar is jump so we just got in a bucket and we're heading down and I thought that was really cool um, the engineering with the bucket and the police system. Now those potato things are running away. Alright, so we've found a, a droid. Oh. Yeah, he's not looking so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think we might have not helped then. Quick, run away. We really need a name for this cat. Right, and as you can see, there's an arrow within the sign, so we'll hop up there. Over we go. Over we go. Come on. Yep, there we go. Alright. So, walk through here, and I think we're going to get a bit of a um, cutscene. And that is a lot of potatoes. They're obviously not potatoes, they're some sort of creature or alien sort of thing maybe. But so yeah, right now we're running, so we need to use our left shift button and dodge these things because if they land on your head, uh, they can suffocate you. And if they do, you gotta press the left alt button right now, shaking them off. Dodge, dodge, dodge. If you run to the sides, you can normally dodge them, stay to the right, yep, up. And one will probably land on the head now. Nope. Yep. Get off me. Yeah, it's quite funny, but like, the way they capture the cat running, yeah, it's pretty cool. Arrow, go left. I think you can go either way there, but I went left this time. on my head, run up the stairs, and this is a bit confusing, it looks like it says go left, but you got to jump the gap, and now we are in a part called the flat, I think, is this the flat, follow me, oh look, so you meow, and you run a, you like do electric charge or something, with your lights and whatnot. So I thought we were up to a chapter called the flat, but we mustn't be there yet. So jump and jump, jump. Come on, jump. I think sometimes if you're too close to where you're trying to jump up. Um, it won't jump, so you got to take sort of like a couple of steps back. 
I'm clearly confused where to go, but we gotta jump down that way. Onto the air conditioner. Onto the plank. Onto the pipe. They love their pipes in this game. Over to the sh the roofing. Onto the pipe again. Up onto the roof. And that way. And do a cat sort of thing. They, um, these planks, they've made them literally just enough that they touch the other side. So I don't think I'd be walking across them. Alright, window, that looks promising. And is this the flat? No, this is the, the laundry at home. It's a bit wet. Ah, now th this bit's really cool. So you, if you go on there and you meow, you send a current up, up the lights. So it's sort of like telling you where to go. But it took me a while to work out where, like how to get that barrel across. I thought you had to walk on top of it, but no, you just go in it. Um, so I was obviously overthinking that, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I didn't think Cat would jump that gap, but obviously it did. So back on the eye beams like in our training, down onto the little cage. Down again. Down again. That caught me out two times in a row before, that little drop gave me a little jump scare. Um, so now we've got to go up, across that eye beam to the right, then jump to the sign, and continue around the place. So it, it is a little tricky, like um, when you're playing through trying to work out where you got to go, because there's lots of hidden little air conditioners and structures, and yeah, it's quite fun. If you watch this bit of wood that's gone across, though, it, it's not touching the other side very much. That only just reaches. Jump. Walk around. Play it safe. I don't think you'd be able to jump that. I don't remember where I had to go. Right, there we go. Giving a bit of a hint. So we've got to head that way somehow. So we should be okay anyway, because they say cats have nine lives. Huge jump again. I think they've done what, quite well with like the building structure though. Like, it's for like a um, a rundown building. You got all the little marks and textures in there, in the floor and stuff, which is pretty cool. I think I got a bit confused <laughs> where I needed to go. Alright, I think I gotta turn around and jump on that air conditioner and go up higher. This is where it tricked me. It's like, where do I need to go? Alright, air conditioner. Jump. Come on. Big jump. Yep. Yep. Very good. And this is where I was like, have I been here? I think I'll stop here and I'm like, I've been here. No, I haven't. Have I? But what I didn't realise, you go through little bars there, hang on left. And here we go. Um, another fan. But this one, you're not going to use a bucket. So, um, just here, a little, like, power supplies. So you can either put power supplies in or take them out. So here we've taken it out and it stopped the fan. I don't think we need that, so we'll just jump through. Now we're in the flat. We are in the flat. I'm not sure if that did anything in the other room when you, you meowed, it sort of lit up the room. Need help. 
Alright, this is pretty funny. I'll just walk on the keyboard and start typing random things. Data corrupt, need help. Oh, oh no. Body required. I don't know if a cat body will count. Oh, hopefully that's not someone's password. Enter the door. The door has opened. Enter the door. Turn on. Right, so we go in here. The first time I did this took me a while because I didn't really understand what to do. But uh, basically what I mentioned before, um, it's to do with those power supplies. So I'll, I'll let you watch the video and you can work out where they all are and what to do. But yeah, it's pretty cool, like, and you have to move things to get other things to give you access to places. Put it in the thing. We really need a name for this cat. I don't think Garfield really suits because I'd say this cat hasn't had a lasagna and this cat is actually doing stuff whereas Garfield is a bit on the lazy side. Right, so we're all powered up. Yeah, secret doorway. How do you like those apples? Or those doorways? Um, okay go in here and there is a droid um, come it out we'll jump up and knock his head off accidentally um, feel really bad and not know what to do about it uh, run away <laughs> we were never here okay so you have to look around and work out what to do. I couldn't remember, so it's definitely sunk in this room. That looks like a charging station or something for the droid, but he obviously didn't make it. Well, some sort of sciencey thing. I'm just sitting on the dude's, well, where the dude's head was. Right, so we run across, do cat things, karate chop. Up, whatever that was. Go up to the droid, see if he needs it. Sit on where his head would be again. Run around in circles. Drop the thing. Hopefully it's not breakable. Pick it up again. Remember what to do. Go back there, jump up. This is I was struggling to jump up because I was too close to the, the desk again. And we're powering up whatever that thing is. It's got like a little jet engine in it. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, nearly hit me on the head. B12. Mm. Try to hit me on the head. Yeah, how do you like it? How would you like it if I slapped you in the head? Hmm? Yeah, I didn't think you would. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think they've done really well with, like, the way the cat acts around certain things. Because I know, like, when our cat, you know... Goes up to something a bit strange. She has those sort of moments where she's a bit standoffish. Um, bit of text. Um, when I was playing this before and I thought I was actually recording the audio, I was reading this all out, but 
I think I'll let you guys do a bit of reading. Ooh. The key unlocks the door. I remember that much. B12. This is frustrating that his battery is low already. Like, literally being turned on, he hasn't been charged up. But then there's a funny bit coming up that, yeah. It's like, well, I don't think you should be doing that if you don't have much battery charge. Anywho, so B12's just whipped us up a little harness thing, a little backpack. Um, and we're walking really weird because we obviously have never worn anything on our backs. So a quadruped is a four-legged animal, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah. It's com uncomfortable for me, yes. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Well, I'm going to have to, because I don't have opposable thumbs and you have strapped this to me. But he has gone ahead and put the, um, the key, like he's um, hooked it up, so... Once the key is hooked up, I can just walk up to things and it will open doors and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're leaving the flat now. And we need to go to the little key thing. So he goes up to it, and we've got the little backpack thing. I'm not sure why I'm calling him he, because he's clearly just a little robot, but I'm just going to refer to him that way, or it that way. Right, so that key card area there needs a password. So this is funny, we just turned on his light, and that would be using a lot of... Um, Battery charge, the code's just there, knock that down. 3748. So if you can remember that code, you won't even need to go up there. And we are exiting. Oh, I have to push open the door really weirdly. <laughs> And we are out and about. And here's some more of our bucket engineering. This is pretty cool. If you watch once I hop out and look back, the, the bucket automatically goes back the other way. It's pretty cool. Now we've got a bit of artwork on the wall. And uh, B12 is having a bit of a flashback. Looks like we're just gonna steal that picture. Hopefully it's no one. <laughs> Don't steal kids. You should uh, ask before you take stuff. But in our situation there isn't really anyone around so I think we'll be okay. Alright now we go down. Hang on. All right, go up and jump. And that way 
Oh, nearly fell. My leg seems to be not too bad anymore. Another bucket. Oh, there's those glowing potato things. So translation says safe zone, however you derive that from that, but that's what it is. And over we go. Whee! Alright. Jump out before those things get me. Yep, run straight on the head. Thank you very much. I don't know if they climb though, they don't. Oh, they're trying to. Ooh, look, a person. Alright, so we're in the slums now. And uh, this person is very timid. And I try to sneak up on them without them seeing me. And I don't think they would have saw me, but yep, freaks out even though I don't think he can see me. But anyway, calls for backup on me or whatever. Uh, yep, just waits for me and then shuts the door. Thank you very much. Alright. Mannequin, kind of creepy. Little robots. Now. One of these doors, I reckon, I would have got in there. You look, you look oh, I so would have got in there. Anyway, so we've got this um, sort of warrior droid hanging outside the building. Everyone's freaking out. And I'm just like, come and pet me. I am not going to hurt you. Gandalf. Robot Gandalf. Thou shall not pass. Oh, you're pretty cute. Okay then. Alright. So we're meeting this person. And it's all gibberish. They seem to have their own language. You are no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. Well, I'm only about six foot tall, uh, six foot, six, six inches tall, maybe a foot tall when I sit down. So I don't think I'm going to eat anyone. Sending out some frequencies. Alarms are off and it's all safe to come out. Some broken clocks. So getting some cyberpunk sort of vibes. It's a bit weird that these um, droids are wearing clothes because obviously they wouldn't have any shame or anything you wouldn't think to need to wear clothes but anyway you look lost what do you need i'll show you the picture oh a picture of the outside ridiculous this elevator is not operational everyone knows that it is impossible to leave this place well except the outsiders but they're all gone now except momo you can try to talk to him if you want but he gave up on trying to leave it's for the best he lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. When I hear the word Momo, I think of Homer Simpson in a moo moo. Alright, so we're gonna head up that way. I'll just talk to one random person, just to not be too rude. Oh, why go up there? There's nothing there. Oh, fine. I will just leave you alone. Tell you what, this cat's legs are going to be tired tomorrow. Or tonight. Keep jumping. What's that guy doing? Throwing things to people. Up. 
Don't jump in it. Don't do it. I thought I fell then, but fortunately there was a platform there. I'm guessing they didn't put a push function in this game so you can knock people off the buildings. Like a bucket. Right, so we need to get up there. Double air conditioner jump. There we go, up on the windowsill. Balustrade the windowsill jump. There we are, Momo. Oh, Momo, you got a sad face. What's wrong? Oh, Momo's angry. But he's got a happy, sad face, if that makes sense. Oh, Momo. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? Talk with Momo. Ah, oh, go through it again because I forgot to show him the picture. And he'll no doubt be angry. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Yes. But don't bother, it's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that crappy transceiver doesn't work. Momo. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook. Well, for you're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook. He, uh, the notebook he gave us. The outside is manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from the Zerks. This sign, Clementine the Bolt. Of, uh, Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Oh. Have a look around the apartment, I guess. Now, in this apartment, there's a few little, um, I guess, facts to try and educate us. Funny, but not ideal. Well, where's B12? He could have taken that off for us. Yep, I'm just gonna make Momo angry by scratching his wall up. Alright, back through the bars. Have a look around. Music sheet, cool. Still having a look around. See if anything else funny is going to happen. Uh, with our cat when she was younger, um, 
We used to like um, give a little icy pole sticks to play with, so like ice cream sticks, and um, yeah, we used to throw them, and she would um, bring them back to us. So sort of trained her in a way that she would um, yeah fetch things and give them back. She, she don't really do it now, uh, being a bit older, but I'm sure if um, uh, we tried, she probably would. She's also a bit strange in the way that if you sing um, the song Amazing Grace, wherever you are in the house, she'll come running to you as well. She's um, a bit odd, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, I think we're just about done in this house. Don't think I'll need to jump up there, but... The symbol on the wall matches one on the notebook, so behind us. So we need to head that way. That was not a good bucket ride. I'm disappointed. Right. It's like the shortest trip ever. Yep. Oh, I thought I fell again. Right, there we go. Over another pipe. And into another building. So we're looking for more clues or notebooks. Oh, more sheet mu music. Inside a notebook, it's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently, it's connected. Uh, it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know that this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Alrighty. Back through the little window hole. Yep, it's me just making a mess. So I think I go to leave and I'm like, oh, I don't really know where I'm going. I should probably have one last look before I go too far away because I don't want to have to come back. Yep, because I went over there and didn't know where to go. One last look. Quick run around. Nothing else up there. Just some portraits. Just going through the inventory. This is Petite Vals. I'd love to hear that played. Wouldn't we all, B12? Wouldn't we all? Yeah, 
One last look around. Back through the hole. On the bed. Oop. Can't access the fridge. Nothing there. All right. Back through the hole. No, under the bed. Back through the hole. Out the window. All right. So how are we going? Have we got any name suggestions? Drop them in the comments. We'll pick one and we can refer to the cat as that name. Also, if you are enjoying the video, please give it a like. Um, if you'd like to watch some of our other content or would like to stay up to date with the content, um, feel free to subscribe. Um, that would be greatly appreciated. Oh, look at this. Some random guy. Um, B12 remembering something. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even all the in even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behaviour. Hmm. We're meant to be heading upwards. Just trying to work out where to go. Back up, apparently. Oh, I think I was just a bit uncertain. See the arrow saying go that way on the building. Oh, somehow I've got to get to those lanterns. be a bucket around here somewhere but nope I think we've got to go the long way big jump Didn't even see that person. This is where B12 is telling me not to go down here or something. Accidentally translated a sign that I didn't want translated. Anyway, we're gonna continue on our adventure. There's the warrior guy again. We gotta get up the top somehow. So back up the way we went last time. Up we go. Around the corner. Up, uh, up, up again. And then back the other way. No, don't, don't go in the bucket. Yeah. 
be jump. Alright. So then we'll notice we got translate. Ventilation power supply. So if we turn that off. Something's gonna power down. And we'll just put it somewhere. Oh no, I've got it in my mouth still. Right, we'll jump down the ventilation shaft. Oh, luckily straight onto a bed. Um, yes. Have a drink of water. Where to go? I think, yeah, I must go this way, jump up, and then I'm back to where I was before, which was not what I wanted. So I probably decide to go back up again. Go. Back into the room again. Nothing's jumping out of me. Oh, I nearly jumped out of the whole building onto the floor. So we need to go down. This time I jump across. Says, remarkable companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely intimidated human life. Now, this is. Sorry, I didn't read that quick enough. Yeah, certainly, desperate times. Hmm, see, that's a C14. Friends of B12, so a little more involved. I still have no idea where I'm meant to be going. And we meet this droid here. Looks like a happy guy. And we give him. Do we give him like. Oh, I know we do. We give him a music sheet. We're wrapping up the episode. Episode one is just about over, so you can have a think of a uh, cat's name, leave it in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. And yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Enjoy the music. <laughs>